Gemini, welcome to a bonus love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on for you in love. Uh, we'll look at past, present, and future energies as well as the overall energy for you in love. Um, as always, these readings are meant to be general, so they will not resonate with every Gemini watching 100%. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. You can also check out your other placements, your moon, your rising sign, or any other sign of significance for you. So let's jump right in for Gemini. Spirits. Messages, guidance, please, for Gemini regarding love and relationships. Hang on for Gemini. got two what's going on for gemini in love okay we have a wedding bells marriage commitment union strong bonds family union partnership and broken silence honesty courage expression well someone's opening up and i wonder if it's because they want to commit to you or it has something to do with family ties, some sort of secret or reveal regarding commitment, regarding family ties, regarding their commitment to you. We'll see with the tarot. Just put these here. I mean, I really hope someone is not opening up and letting you know that they're married. Surprise, you know, like that would not be great. Um, so let's see what we get with the tarot. Past, present, future energies for Gemini. Past, present, future energies for love. What's been going on for Gemini? In love. What's been going on for Gemini? In love. Let's see what we get for you, Gemini. The hangman reverse. The three of swords. The Knight of Cups reverse. Oh, Gemini. I don't like this. What's the overall energy? The Fool. I was not expecting that. The overall energy is taking a risk, a leap of faith, a new beginning. Because what I see here is... You're feeling a bit disappointed, heartbroken with the Three of Swords. In the past, the hangman is reversed. Okay. And in the near future, we have the Knight of Cups reverse. So, hmm. The Knight of Cups reverse could be a delayed cup coming towards you. Uh, a delayed apology coming towards you. But it could also be a symbol for... Heartbreak, disappointment, being emotionally, um, having like emotional upheavals, right? Like your emotions are a little all over the place. Um, so we'll see what that's about when we clarify. But the fool at the top here, the overall energy, let's see what that's about. Because that's all about new beginnings, a new adventure, a new journey, taking a leap of faith into the unknown. Why is the fool here, spirit? Why is the fool here for Gemini? What's this about? The moon, Pisces energy. Well, Geminis don't know where they're going. They're, <laughs> what's going on here? With the moon and the fool, it's like, it's like a new beginning where someone doesn't know where they're gonna end up, where their path leads. Tell me about the fool. Why is the fool here for Gemini? Why is the fool here? Ten of Wands. Okay, so Geminis, what I'm getting here is that you just need a new beginning because it hasn't been, it's been, you've been feeling overwhelmed, tied down, weighed down. Maybe you're, you've been carrying heartbreak and disappointment with you. Maybe you've just been feeling disappointed. Now, the Ten of Wands and the Fool, to me, as a reader, they're complete opposites. The Fool has packed very light. He has one little tiny bag that he takes with him, and his arms are open. He's very light and airy and just a spring in his step. Ten of Wands is not like that at all. 
So I almost feel like this is an exchange, uh, maybe a turning point for Gemini here, even though you don't really know where this is headed. Can I get one more for the fool? Why is a fool here for Gemini? Five of Pentacles. My goodness. Now the Empress is at the bottom of the deck. So I don't know what's happening here with my Geminis, but this is for a Gemini who has not been dealing well with a situation or has not been dealing well with relationships. Um, maybe you feel abandoned. Maybe you feel like you don't see a new beginning in love. You're on the outside looking in at other people having what you want, perhaps. Or, you know, you're having doubts about a new beginning. But I think that there's definitely something here for you. The Empress, the Nine of Cups, it's, it's almost like this is what you can't really see. You know, this is like the moon. Like, you can't really see where this new beginning is headed for you or where you are headed in this new journey. The hangman is reverse. So in the past, uh, this could be the recent past, distant past, but I feel like in the past, Gemini, you're seeing something differently. You or another person that you are thinking about connecting with. Uh, the hangman is reverse. So someone is um, possibly becoming unstuck um, maybe they were only able to see things from one perspective and that's kind of changing. Maybe this is somebody that is, uh, seeing things from a whole different angle. Maybe you, maybe this is a, a situation where someone saw things in like with laser vision, very narrow focus. And then, so now maybe that's changing. So let's see, why is the hangman? reverse why is the hangman reverse wow the six of swords someone becoming unstuck leaving this behind this hangman energy behind the six of swords is definitely leaving something behind and headed towards somewhere new what else can you tell me about the hangman yeah eight of wands this is somebody moving quickly this could be you or a person that you are thinking about connecting with or will be connecting with. Tell me about the hangman reverse. Yeah, the death, um, the death card, the devil, Capricorn energy. Someone definitely is leaving a difficult situation here. And this is an ongoing theme for Gemini's, but hey, the message is the message. We're going to go with it. So I feel like whatever this is, is somebody that was restricted. Probably there were strong bonds keeping someone restricted. They could have been married. They could have been doing something. I, I, I'm, I'm getting the message that someone was doing something that their family wanted them to do. Not necessarily, necessarily that they wanted to do it, but that their family wanted to do it. And I feel like this is someone that's becoming, or it's almost like they're being, they're uh, free of that pressure or free of that restriction could be dealing with a Capricorn does not have to be so why the three of swords in the present energy why is the three of swords here why is the three of swords here spirit what can you tell us about this three of swords eight of Pentacles why is the three of swords here wow there's the Empress again Eight of Pentacles and the Empress. This is effort, energy, focus. Someone actively working on growth, manifestation, abundance here. And then the Strength card, Leo energy. So I feel like what's happening or, you know, what I'm, what I'm, what I'm seeing here, Gemini, is that somebody presently is working to no longer feel this way. This could be you, Gemini, or your person. Take it as it resonates. But whoever's feeling disappointment or is heartbroken, sad, I feel like they want to get out of that. They want to break free of that. Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Maybe they are working towards making an offer to an empress or working, studying, wanting to better themselves, better their situation, wanting to be brave, to go after what they want to go after here. 
Can I get one more for this Eight of Pentacles? What's this Eight of Pentacles about? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Page of Pentacles. Yeah, so this is definitely someone working towards an offer, an opportunity, something small, but that has a lot of promise. Look at all this yellow. Yellow is a car uh, card, a color about um, clarity, creativity, intellect. It's a very um, Gemini color, actually, uh, or an air you know, air, air color, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, because swords, air, this is all about intellect, creativity, communication. So, okay. Can I get one more for the eight of pentacles? I just want to know if I can get a little more insight on this eight of pentacles, two of swords. So this is something I feel like someone's working because they're feeling a bit stuck. So um, there's the three of pentacles. So this could be in terms of work. This could be working together. This could be somebody that's putting in serious effort. And I feel it's because they want to get out of this energy, this three of swords. They no longer want to be heartbroken or disappointed. So why is the knight of cups reverse in the near future here? Oh my gosh, I am not taking all of those, but I'm just going to show you what came out. Three of Swords, the Emperor. Wow, the Emperor's here. Seven of Cups and the Ten of Swords. OMG. Okay, so the Three of Swords came out again with the Ten of Swords. So I think there was definitely some sort of ending here for someone. And that's probably why the Six of Swords is here. I feel like whoever left a situation is still dealing with the aftermath of that. It wasn't easy leaving this situation or having this ending. Um, but they're trying to figure out with the Seven of Cups what to do. This Emperor, I feel this Emperor wants to be in a position where he could be with his Empress. So let's see. Tell me about this Knight of Cups reverse. What do we need to know, Spirit, about this Knight of Cups reverse? Page of Wands. Tell me about the Knight of Cups reverse. Here's the Knight of Cups reverse why is the knight of cups reverse ace of cups wow and then the high priestess four of pentacles at the bottom of the deck this could be somebody that hasn't broken their silence gemini either you haven't broken your silence you have not brought this cup to someone or they haven't brought this cup to you even though this is what they want ace of cups page of pentacles page of wands you know Okay, so when I look at all of these energies on the board, if I had to summarize, <clears throat> I think the overall energy, what's going on behind the scenes is that there's a new beginning in store. Someone has dropped a burden with the Ten of Wands, uh, and even though they are free of that burden, it's not easy for them, Five of Pentacles. Um, maybe they don't know where they're going or how the future will end up with the moon here, but I feel like it's time for a new beginning. <clears throat> And for some reason, you're involved in this new beginning, Gemini. Um, when I see the past, present, future energies, I feel like this is someone that's recently out of a bad situation, uh, moving quickly, uh, working hard, making an effort, being strong, and perhaps making difficult decisions um, because they are beginning again, page of wands, page of pentacles. These are um, small offers, small, and, um, uh, small steps that someone's taking. Um, but the goal is clear with the Ace of Cups. So I feel like this is someone, maybe they're working up the nerve to break the silence with you. Can I get one more, please, for the Knight of Cups reverse? Can I get one more for the Knight of Cups reverse? What do we need to know about this Knight of Cups reverse? Page of Swords, another page, bottom of the deck, Ace of Wands. So yes, I feel like this is somebody that is quite literally coming towards you to talk to you, to take it some sort of, have some sort of beginning with you, Gemini. Um, and I feel like all, all that has to happen here is for them to just speak up. And I feel, you know, whatever they have to say, this it's going to be related to this Ace of Cups. A new beginning in love, expressing themselves, um, an emotional 
like outburst or like a very emotional conversation um and it's gonna begin something new and look at this ace of wands ten of cups what the heck this is amazing energy so that's what i have for you gemini hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already um, so you can see more readings from me thank you so much for checking out uh, this reading and i will see you all in another video very soon take care